I'm Mandy with Sugary Bling and we do live sales and when we do we showcase our jewelry in sets. We like to show options like a couple of different earrings, maybe a small and a large, a short, medium and long necklace, several different types of bracelets that you can stack or wear on its own. It's all about the options and the mix and match. To do this, we use custom built jewelry bust boards to be able to layer everything together like this. And so we can do short, medium, long necklaces. But what I love the most are the pegs on the side so that we can put multiple earring options or multiple bracelet options. It also has a slit up here in the corner where we can put a ring on each side. We top it off with a command strip tiny hook so we can add another pair of earrings right up there in the top. I love that these are perfect and customized exactly what we need them for. Another feature I like is that they're easy to store because the base is separate. So instead of a bust that takes up a lot of room, we can store them separately and stack them a little more easily. We have them in a couple of different sizes just depending on what kind of display that we want to put together. Another idea that we use to put more pieces on a display bust is to use those command strips stuck to one of the leather busts and that helps add some extra display spots. So one of our most asked questions is, where do we get our display jewelry busts? Well, we made them. We customized them and made them. And I have got a tutorial here for you showing you how we do that. So Trevor's gonna show you how to make your own wooden display bust. Keep in mind that the dimensions are up to you and what fits your needs. You could, if you have one of those flat busts, you can use that as a trace around or you can come up with your own dimensions and he'll walk you through all of that. Are you ready to learn how to make them? Here we go. All right, hey there, this is Trevor with Sugar Bee Blink. We are gonna be making a jewelry display just like this here. Uh, this is what we use to show jewelry during our live sales. We have four different pegs here for bracelets and earrings and then we've got some slots for necklaces and slots for rings. And we're gonna go ahead and show you how to cut this out and then how to make a stand for it to stand up on. So first what we're gonna do is you have to decide what shape you want. We made a long one or a short one like this and we also have a, a longer version. So the point being you can make it whatever size and shape you feel is good for you. We like the long ones for long necklaces. If you're wondering, this one is about 18 inches, there you go. And the little one is about uh, 14 inches. So, and again, I said about because again, these can be whatever size you want. If you have one of these, you can use this as a template as well. First off, if you don't have a template like this that you can just trace out, you can make up your own. To make this, the tools you're gonna need, you're gonna need a drill. You're gonna need a quarter inch drill bit. You're going to need a tape measure or a T-square or both, and you're going to need a pencil. And there are four pieces of material that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a piece of quarter inch underlayment. You can find this in the plywood section at Home Depot or Lowe's. You're gonna need a quarter inch dowel rod. You're gonna need some wood glue. For the base, what I like to use is a piece of one by eight uh, board. And get the, it's called select or um, surfaced four sides. Just, it's gonna be the nicer piece. So really only four things you need. One by eight, quarter inch underlayment, quarter inch dowel rod, and glue. That's the only thing you need. Uh, all told, you'll probably spend like 20 bucks to make you know, five or six of these. All right, so first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw out our template on here. So I'm gonna start off by measuring up about 14 inches, because that's the size I wanna make today. I want it to be 14 inches high, and then I want it to be about nine inches deep. So I'm gonna make it nine inches there and nine inches there. Okay, so that's the box that I'm gonna to use to cut it out. And so I'm gonna go ahead and draw my line across the top like that, okay? And then you might notice that we came down a little bit before we started coming in. So I'm gonna measure from my line, I'm gonna come down about uh, two and a half inches and I'm gonna draw another line here and I'm gonna come over here and two and a half inches draw another line okay and then from here I'm gonna draw a line going in one inch on each side one inch there and then nine inches over to one inch is eight right so there you go that is your line that is going to be this first cut here okay 
And then I'm going to come down here and measure one inch in from each side. And that's going to be to give you the angle of that display. So I'm gonna come down and put a mark at one inch here. And then over at eight inches here, because again, it's nine inches wide. And then I'm gonna come across and draw my diagonal. And then I'm gonna come up here and draw my diagonal as well. Okay, so you can see it's starting to come together. Now you might notice on this, that this comes up a little bit and it's actually angled in slightly. Truth be told, I didn't measure these when I made this. I just cut it on my table saw, but I'm gonna show you how to measure it and mark it if you want. So we're gonna to wanna to come in um, about an inch and then we're gonna come up and I'm actually gonna bring that in an inch and a quarter just to give myself a little more space, okay? So one inch, inch and a quarter there. And then from here to come into the middle, I just need to pick some dimensions for that center piece here. So I'm gonna come in about three inches on that side and then so that's going to be my line there and then three inches on this side there we go so now you can see i'm going to step it down now we're going to come down with our intermediate line and that's going to split the difference so it's going to be about an inch so see how i did two and a half inches so that's going to be an inch and a quarter across there and then over here is also going to be an inch and a quarter i'm going to come in let's see that one was three inches so we'll come in about two and a half inches on each side How's that sound? So two and a half, bring it to about there. And then two and a half here would be right about there, okay? And again, it's not super scientific. You're just making it how you want it to look. So now I'm gonna come across here and just connect that line there. Come across here, connect that line there. And then I'm gonna try to keep that same angle. See that? And then I'm just gonna eyeball it because you know it doesn't have to be super scientific. See, I just kind of looked at that and eyeballed it over. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Look at that, slide it up till it gets to the end of that line, and then eyeball that over, okay? There you go. So now you've got your, your thing that you're gonna cut out on your table saw. The point is to give you a couple steps there for your necklaces to hang. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to mark and measure off the holes. What I'd really recommend is if you're going to make several, make one, cut it out, draw your holes, and then use it as a template for all the other ones that you're going to make. But in this case, we're going to use this guy as my template here. And so I had holes on this one from the bottom up about five inches and then about nine and a half inches. Or if you wanted to measure from this side down, two and six. So let's do that. So let's come down about two inches. So that's about the elevation I want my hole to be. And then I'm going to come down about six inches. So the same thing on this side. And then I'm just going to come in about an inch and a quarter from each side. So see how I'm just kind of picking my line there. Put my plus sign, inch and a quarter. And I'm coming from the edge of the line here. So inch and a quarter on this side is about there. That means my mark is going to be there for the hole. Now we're going to cut it out and we're going to drill it out. So I'm going to use a table saw. And it's because for me, it's the easiest thing to use for this. You can use a skill saw, you can use a jigsaw, you can use a hand saw, a lot of different tools you can use, but for me, a table saw works great. All right, now that we've got it marked out, I'm gonna cut it on the table saw. Here's a hint, if you're gonna be making multiples, you can just cut the top off and then use that same piece for the next few different pieces. So I've set my guide here to 14 inches because that's how tall this is gonna be. So we're gonna cut that out. Now that we got that cut out, we're gonna cut out the detail pieces here. So I'm just gonna take this, slide it over out of the way, and I'm just gonna cut this by, by hand. Now the basic shape is cut out and we're gonna drill the holes. You might have noticed that when I did the little notches for the rings, I just did it by eye, right? So it doesn't have to be super scientific. So for the holes, we're gonna use quarter inch dowel rod. So I have a quarter inch drill bit in my drill. 
And I've already marked my holes location, so I'm just going to come over here and put in the holes. So we're going to cut the dowel rod pieces now. They're going to be one inch long. Once you got it all cut out, if you want, you can clean up the edges. Just a little bit of some sandpaper. Dowel rods a little bit. Step we're just going to use a little bit of wood glue. And we're going to just glue these in. There you have it. That is the base. This is the base. So each of these sits in a base like that. To make that base, you're going to buy that one by eight piece of pine I talked about. And you're going to want to cut that groove there. See that groove? It is about halfway through the wood and it is at an angle. And the best way to do that is on a table saw. You can use the skill saw if you have it. That's a little more difficult. So what you're going to want to do is just set your wood on the table saw and bring that down until it is about halfway through your wood. See about there? And then you're going to want to turn the angle of that on your table saw to about 10 degrees. And then you see how you want the, the it angled away. So my, my table saw angles this way. So I have to slide my guide over and then you're just going to, I'm not going to do this because it's already done, but you're going to run that through and then you're going to take the guide, shift it over a little bit, lock it down run it through again. You'll run it through about three times until you get just wide enough for this to go in easily without binding, but not so wide that it starts flopping around. I hope that was helpful. Enjoy making your own custom jewelry display bus and using those in your business to mix and match sets and show them on display all together. And again, I'm Mandy with Sugar Bee Bling. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube. We have lots of tips and tricks and tutorials that we wanna share with you.